Hi, everybody. I wanted to uh, report um, on some news that I hadn't seen till this morning, um, and that is that Newtown seeks to deny newspapers access to death certificates. Uh, it's on the Digital Journal, um, and you can go up and see it. I'll post the link in the description. Now, of course, this is after... Uh, the, you know, we, we've already known that um, Dr. Carver, the Connecticut chief medical examiner, uh, was able to uh, sponsor and get Bill 1054 passed back in February 2011. It was passed in October 2011, um, and that uh, enables them to hide autopsy reports on pediatric homicides from the general public. Uh, again, it's my um, belief that uh, this uh, this was put into action, uh, this plan for Sandy Hook, in about 2010, so this would fall right within that timeline. And now here we see that Newtown <clears throat> is seeking to deny newspapers access to death certificates. We'll go down here a little bit further. We can see that... Um, Newtown, Connecticut town clerk is seeking to deny newspapers from viewing public record death certificates of Sandy Hook alleged victims. And this is according to the Newtown B. So I thought that uh, this is very important news, and of course uh, it uh, it fits right in with uh, what I feel and many of us feel uh, is this uh, complete hoax. So now they're trying to stop people from being able to access uh, uh, the death certificates, and I was actually kind of uh, surprised that the, the New York Post was one of the outfits here that was trying to get a hold of that uh, those death certificates, and so was the Associated Press, amongst others. So anyway, I thought that that was uh, very interesting and uh, just wanted to bring it to light for everybody.